Welcome to New Orleans, Louisiana. We're back adventuring in my home state. Excited to be here for 24 hours showing you the highlights. Now it takes way more than one weekend to do all of the best things from swap tours, eating all the food, museums, going through all the neighborhoods. There's so many amazing things to do here, but we'll show you what you can do in one weekend. We're at brunch at the Court of Two Sisters, right in the heart of the French Quarter. This place is so beautiful. There's like a courtyard outside and then sort of like sunroom type dining area inside where it's really cold like today or raining or hot or anything. <laughs> but it, they've got a live jazz band, they've got a buffet, you can help yourself to over 80 different Cajun specialties. Just finished at the Court of Two Sisters brunch. Yeah, I'm it, so full. <laughs> yes, it was both the Cajun and brunch, two of our favorite foods. And a live jazz band. Yes, that was amazing. And then now we're kind of walking around the French Quarter. The French Quarter is, I mean, shops in almost every building here. Yeah. So we're kind of going through different shops and then we're going to the French market. French market, yes. yes. So we're going to shop through all that, all those different things. There's a lot of lots of shopping and eating in New Orleans, but it's mm -hmm. the best. So <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do that and then we're going to head over to Magazine Street. It's going to be a fun filled day. <laughs> <laughs> seafoods that I actually don't love. I love all the ironwork in the buildings here with the trellises and even to hold up the second stories. It's so ornate. It's almost always filled with beautiful greenery. You can hang Mardi Gras beads from it, all the things. And it's just charming. Fun fact, it's much more Spanish influenced because it used to be French, but then it burned like ages ago. And then Spain took over for a second and it became much more Spanish architecture. But that one's for free. Big old oak trees make it feel like home. They're just everywhere in the whole state. It's awesome. because people are literally running to join the parade now. Like, hilarious. Um, but yeah, no wonder New Orleans is such a bucket list place for people. You, it has experiences, yeah, food, never culture, forget. parades, everything you'll never forget unlike mm -hmm. anywhere else. Crawfish pack, lake gumbo. We're going Joey K so we can both get some po' boys. <laughs> 
time for lunch. <laughs> roast beef and shrimp, I think yes. we already know what we're going to get <laughs> because we've been there before and we yeah. already know it's amazing. Yeah. Do um, you know what I didn't know before? Um, Guy Fieri had been here on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. I found it on the internet this morning. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's good dang it good. Yeah. They give you so much gravy on the side. Yes. Ooh. I'm excited. Let's let's get there right now. It's literally overflowing with shrimp bees. I'm so excited. Crispy. Mm. Got a mojito to go with it all. There's a lot of rum drinks in New Orleans because there's so much sugar cane made in Louisiana, which is where rum comes from. So we even have rum distilleries because there's so much sugar cane just around the corner. Yep. I normally go for the roast beef po' boy because the shrimp falls out everywhere, but that shrimp is good and it is really light fried sometimes that are like really battery fried. But look at this moist sandwich. Look how moist that like gravy is. Looks so good. Ooh. Kind of like your um, grandma's roast and here it's roast rice and gravy. Um, where I come from, it's roast beef and potatoes, but that's kind of what it is. It's like a roast beef in, in a French baguette. So this is like my favorite little antique shop and I love Magazine Street for so many reasons. All these shops you can pop in and out, look at antiques, locally made goods and stuff. I love it. Ooh, I want one of these. Ooh always looking for a new way to make coffee. Mm -hmm. And it's always, you put this on your stove, stove top. Yeah. You gonna get it? Maybe. Nice. We'll come back to it. <laughs> what? It's a calculator. I don't know how it works, but it's a calculator. I should get this for dad. Oh yeah. Sergeant Peppers. Coming home with me. I love these little shops. This is, there's a, like a hundred local makers that have little booths and things here that get to sell their place, that get to sell their stuff in one place. Look at all the art they made out of Mardi Gras beads. Look, this is amazing. Bead art, who knew? to walk down Magazine Street in the Garden District. It's my favorite spot in all of New Orleans. I know everybody knows and loves the French Quarter. This is where I love to be most. This place is so cute. It's just, it's quieter. It's nicer, they have the beautiful garden homes. They've got Mardi Gras beads just strung everywhere in the trees that you can't get off, and it's quite, it's nice. Now we're gonna check in, get into our room, rest and clean up a little bit before dinner, and then head back into the French Quarter for dinner on Bourbon Street. It's just dinner at Cornet, which has like a lot of really good like Cajun Creole dishes. And then we're gonna head back to Jackson Square at evening and get some beignets. Covered in powdered sugar. I was right, I was straight, so I see it. Yay! 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 That's how you pronounce it, by the way. If you see it spelled, it's been yay. Yeah. Pretty much any cultural food that is a fried dough with powdered it's sugar good. is a good thing. So. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So 
So we've got a bit of a COVID-friendly experience. Um, and now everything's to go. So we've got the to-go cups and a bag of goodness. The thing I want to mention real quick is look at the floor. Look at the powdered sugar on the floor. Everywhere. Say so goodbye to my black I mean, shoes and pants. If that doesn't tell you what you're in for, I don't know what will. <laughs> Cafe du Monde experience was after a cruise we went to Mexico and then we came back here and had to stop at Cafe du Monde. It's like it's something you have to do. It's a rite of passage to come to New Orleans. You have to go to Cafe du Monde. It's like there's probably other beignet places but they, they don't really exist. So it's Cafe du Monde all the way. Uh, really dark chicory coffee is classic New Orleans coffee and really sweet powdered sugar donut beignets are the donut. thing. <laughs> it's a donut. <laughs> it's a, it's a no-hold donut with powdered sugar, but it's amazing. Take it from the pro. One, roll your sleeves up. And probably don't wear all black, but here we are. Embrace it. Look at this bag of goodness. Zoom in on this real fast. It's just powdered sugar everywhere. Okay. So. powdered sugar. That is so good. Coffee's great. Dark coffee with milk. Is the, I think that's the only option other than like dark coffee. Right? Black coffee. You're going to get Black an iced coffee. one. What? You can iced? Also, mm -hmm. Oh, they're getting fancy around here. Yeah. Look in this bag. This uh, hunk of eat powdered it. sugar. to Mardi Gras world, where it's Mardi Gras every day of the year. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to find out how you can travel the world with limited time too. See you soon.